Hey, Scott. Hey, thank you. Been How you doing? Great. Great. Good. Did you have a good trip? Great trip. Good. good. Long. This is uh, Swanee, my Hi, assistant Swanee. guide. How you doing? Nice to meet you. <clears throat> We're going to get ready to go hunt tomorrow. Good. So we got to go set up. The wind's going to be a little howly, I guess. I you know, it. typical... Uh, Alaska weather, yeah, I and weather you should have been here in. yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Always a day late. But well, let's get your stuff on board okay, and let's get out of here. Let's go do it. Thanks, huh? okay. Thank, you. Thank you. You betcha. Catherine is going to be a huge part of the success on this brown bear hunt. The Catherine is a 45 foot vessel sitting out there in the bay that is like our home on water. She's warm, she's dry, and she's gorgeous. It's fine food every night. You bust her, you know what, every day out there hunting. Up these streams you come in soaking wet, and the Catherine is going to be a huge part of our success. Morning, Scott. It's, a, it's our first morning out chasing brown bear here in Alasitka, Alaska, and and I really don't know what I'm doing, and uh, but that's what Scott's here for, and we're gonna he's gonna give me a little update on uh, what we're doing here this morning and how we're gonna approach the whole uh, operation of killing a brown bear with a bow and arrow. What do you think, Scott? Well, the first thing that we're gonna do this morning, we're gonna just show a little patience. We don't want to get going <laughs> right off in the morning there. And, and ruin anything up the creek. So this morning we're going to go ahead and just sit here at the flats and there's a stream there right up uh, in that section there and there's a stream over there and both of them seem to be chucked with fish. So <clears throat> we'll just see what happens this morning and uh, it's kind of a pre-hunt thing. Usually in the afternoon and the evening it's uh, it's uh, it's your best hunting. So we'll just uh, Take her slow here, and then we'll go ahead and start walking up the walking up the stream there uh, this evening and come out at dark. Sounds See what great. happens. But, yeah, you bet. Sounds like a game plan. We're gonna do it. He, it's a she. <laughs> Beautiful bear, though. Oh, 
And this is my cook on the boat, Bill Payton. <laughs> He's going to have a little venison and rice and a salad. Eric Swanson over here is the, the other guide on the trip. I don't our uh, guest, our uh, Ray Stongel, of course. You met him when he had his bear. And Mike Dickus hey. on the pro staff. We're on this salmon stream, and uh, we're here about 3.30 on opening day, and uh, it's best not to go up the streams too early. You want to let that wind start coming out of the canyons and have that wind in your favor. And uh, we'll be working our way up there probably around 5 or 6, and, and uh, we're trying to keep the wind in our favor and trying to get up you know, on a good, mature bore which is really going to be a, a specific challenge since Mike is going to try to go ahead and take that bear with an arrow. The salmon streams, of course, are full. We've got four species of salmon running in the river right now. We've got pinks, chum, sockeye, and silvers. And hopefully there'll be enough food down here. Obviously there's enough food down here, but we just need one bear that's hungry enough to come out tonight. That will be big enough to harvest, and we hope we will get some action later on today. There's a creek that goes in, there's a side creek that goes up over here, and we just saw a monster bear. But we're kind of stuck here in the open. So we're going to try to work up, I think, might be the right thing, is try to work our way up this way, and try to get over across that creek, the main creek, and try to intercept him, you know, in the tree line there, where he won't see us. The only thing I have to determine, though, is if he's a sow or a boar. They get some big, big sows, so we're going to make sure. But he looks big.
think so. I think Mike, you got a you you got a hit. It was back a little bit, but I think it went through the he vitals. Was, he was going straight away though. Holy yeah, mackerel! I mean, that was hit, but I think it was up through him enough. Right. That we made right. that he wasn't quartered, and he was like going straight across the creek at 30, 32 yards. That's right. And now we got a job to do. We got to get in there and yeah, dig him out got, of that jungle. Got to get in there quick. And get yeah. Him. Let's get across here, bud. Wow. got good blood Mike great blood Scott it looks like you've got a good it, it shouldn't there's, be far from here blood, blood all over the, and there's, there's more blood looks sprayed yeah. everywhere it's sprayed everywhere it looks oh. like you got a good hit I must have got the angle on it Can you, you don't believe this! I told you I looked for that penis sheet that I know. <laughs> I know I saw it. I know it. <laughs> I was afraid it was gonna be a huge sale. We almost let it go. Oh yeah, I was gonna pass him. I <laughs> Gee, Merry Christmas. Look at that bugger. What a bear. Boy, am I pleased tonight. I, I mean, can't you, believe it, Scott. It's <laughs> unreal. You you really made a great shot on a big bear. This bear looks to be six, seven hundred pounds. His fur quality is good. And look at look at those paws. Look at the paws. Look at the claws. Isn't that just amazing? Thing. And take a look at this. Hold the head up if you can. Yeah. What a head. Look I've at the head on that black, guy. Black bear, but nothing like that. That head's definitely going to be in that 23 range, you know, for southeast bears. It's uh, awesome bear. Awesome. You'll be making the book with this bear. Thank you, Scott. And I just, I got I'm so real many happy. people to thank. I mean, I just tickled <laughs> to death. I can't believe this is the first night of the hunt, and we'd passed up. We'd spotted bears yesterday, scout, and we passed up bears this morning, a big sow. We wasn't sure on this bear. Scott watched it. We, we watched the spot him at 300 yards, stalked him. Scott glassed him again, uh, trying to make sure he was a boar. And he came by and he was crossing. He was going dead away from us at 30, 35 yards, and it was then or never. And Scott says, I'm 90% sure he's a boar. Or take him. And it was... It was a lot of luck involved in it. I hit him back, but he was going straight away and it angled up to him. We thought for a minute he was probably not going to go down, but I got so many people to thank for this coming together. If you ever want to hunt southeast Alaska, this is, I've grizzly hunted before, but nothing like this with Scott McLeod. Oh, uh, what I, a wonderful deal. I couldn't be happier. I mean, it's just a lifetime dream. I used to watch Fred Bear videos in the 19, late 60s, early 70s, and him doing the same thing off the coast. And right. I can't believe it's ever happened to me. Now we're going to be legal here. We got to make sure that uh, everything is up to par on this bear and we're going to go ahead and put your metal tag through it and we usually tag them through the penis sheath so they can tell uh, sex and all that kind of good stuff when they seal it for the last time with a fishing game. That good? That looks good. Just pop there it right in there. It. Pop Ollie. There it is. A big boar. You did her buddy. Thank you. Here we are doing a little crabbing in between killing brown bear getting ready to go out and chase another brown bear here this afternoon but we got a couple crab pots set here in the bay and I'm taking a break the boss man here said what are you doing I said I'm taking a break man <laughs> I said I'm not a human winch <laughs> we're down how many fathoms Scott uh, about eight fathoms. about eight fathoms so we got to get this thing up and we're up uh, I hope I hope we're getting to the top the last one we didn't have anything in you can see there at your feet but hopefully we get some dinner tonight we already got some salmon on board I think but we're getting close, I know. Looks like we got three nice ones. Here we go! Oh, yeah, those are nice All ones. right, what do you think? I'm too dumb, I'm an amateur crabber here now. Let's get the thing open and find them. Look at this. Are we going to eat good tonight? Dungeness crab. All right, fresh crab, and what else is on the menu? Uh, fresh uh, rockfish. Rockfish and crab, we do eat good and we stay warm and dry. It's kind of weird seeing a silver pole bobber down and just go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty 
too close. What's it mean when it says MD on you? That is a silver salmon. Let me zoom in he is little. pink and spotted and beautiful and he probably weighs 13, 14 pounds maybe. 